in our last session we unpacked what kindness was, we defined it, and took some time to reflect on our own experiences of kindness. For some of us, we have grown up not experiencing um, people being kind to us. And as a result, we maybe think that our relationship with God has got to be about performance, or that we don't actually deserve to have an intimate relationship with God, or actually we don't want to get too close to God because our experience of getting close to people is that sometimes they're unkind to us. God wants us to know him intimately. And one of the ways that he, um, his character is shown to us is when we discover that he is actually very, very kind. If we're going to heal our misunderstandings around kindness, then this passage with the two beggars shows us five um, principles that we can grasp to heal kindness where we don't understand that kindness. And they say to, to recover kindness, first of all, we have to give with no expectations. These blind beggars could give Jesus nothing back in return for his kindness to them. And yet Jesus shows them the kindness that, they, um, that changes their lives. Secondly, we need to give out of the resources that we've got. Sometimes to protect ourselves, we want to keep things safe. But actually kindness requires us to be generous. Kindness requires us to sort of step out of that sense of wanting to keep things for ourselves. And again, Jesus gives out of his resources. He's the creator, he can heal, and he gives them something that they don't deserve. The third principle is to practice the golden rule. Do unto others as we would have them do to us. And if we want to experience kindness, that's a great principle to work from. Fourthly, radiate kindness. Smile. Um, I'm not great at smiling. My face, I get a concentration and, and when I'm speaking, my face becomes really serious. But actually, I have to really try to remember to smile. And sometimes in the middle of things, you can smile. And then when you radiate kindness, it gives people the idea you're approachable. And these blind beggars couldn't see, but they saw something in Jesus that said, we know this man radiates kindness. We've heard the stories about him. The fifth principle is to practice non-discrimination. Actually give to everybody regardless of their status. Give to the rich man in the same way we'd give to the poor man. These blind beggars, their status would probably be the lowest of the low where people would walk past and kick the dirt in their face. And yet Jesus stops in the middle of all of his mission and heals them. Five great principles we see in this passage that can help us to redeem kindness. At a time I was feeling hurt, separated from many of the things that were familiar to me. I needed to know the kindness of God. And God showed that to me in a whole new way, which just transformed my life. And I want to leave you with a verse. I want to read you a verse from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. He has showered his kindness on us, along with all wisdom and understanding. God is kind, it's part of his nature, and he's kinder to us than we are to ourselves. And maybe you're struggling to understand God as father because you've not experienced that kindness, either in life or in some of the experiences you've had. If that's you today, the Bible says know the truth and the truth will set you free. And I hope that through what you've seen by looking at the Bible and looking at this encounter that Jesus has with these two blind beggars, we just see a snippet of many examples where God is kind. And when we grasp this, it can truly set us free. And I want to encourage you today, look at the evidence Look at Jesus, look at how he treated people and hear the words that God would speak over you today. He is very kind and let that kindness change how you think of God.